Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 12 Beta 8. Now, two days ago, Beta 7 came out. They pulled that beta due to speed and stability issues and re released it as Beta 8 today. It came in at 213.7 megabytes on my iPhone 10. I also installed it on the 12.9 inch first gen iPad Pro, 7 Plus, and the SE. So let's take a look at the build number and then we'll talk about what's new. The build is 16A5357B, and this build was re-released to fix one major issue, and all Apple has said about it is that apps could take longer than expected to launch. Now, that wasn't the only issue. The other issue was complete lockups, complete unresponsiveness. You might touch on the App Store, and the icon would go dark, and you could wait 10 to 30 seconds for it to do anything. If you went to unlock your phone, the same thing. When I initially installed Beta 7, that's what it did on my iPhone 10. However, on these devices, it was working fine. Now, if you didn't watch the beta seven video from a couple days ago, the one thing you really should know is that group FaceTime will no longer be included with the initial release of iOS 12. So unfortunately that will not be in the public release when it comes out in September, probably in a month and a week or so in September. So I would expect a couple more betas until then. So they're going to remove group FaceTime and put it in a later release later this fall, according to Apple. Now in this particular beta, beta eight, it was mostly just to fix those slowdowns in, in app launch times, but also settings no longer locks up. So if you're in settings, it's not locking up and the speed seems to be much better. Things like 3D touch, scrolling, uh, there's just not the lockups and freezes that there was with beta seven. So it's working good on these devices as well. No issues here with scrolling. I haven't had any issues with these devices even on beta seven. Now battery life on beta seven from two days ago, but wasn't great. My battery life on my iPhone 10 is still 100%. On these devices, it's a little bit different. I'll take a look here just so you can see. But on this device, battery health is 93%. And on the SE, it's 90%. So 90, 93. They don't include the battery health on the iPad Pros or the iPads, but 100% on my first release iPhone 10. I know a lot of you don't understand that. Uh, I don't know. I don't do anything special as far as charging goes. And you'll see over the last 24 hours, my battery's actually done okay. My average screen on time is three hours and 25 minutes. I was doing a backup with Google Photos, but it's pretty decent. Three hours, three minutes. It's gotten better, although I didn't think it was that great yesterday, but it was doing a lot of backups. So other than that, there's nothing new. They just said seven resolve issues, resolved issues. So it's basically the same notes from the previous beta. There's no new wallpapers, no dark mode, but one thing there is, is a better Geekbench score. So the Geekbench this time around is 4,223 for single core, 10,632 for multi-core. If I go to the history, you'll see from before, while the single core is slightly slower, the multi-core is much faster by about four or 500 points. So it's much better as far as that goes. And then the single core is about the same, but that multi-core score went up quite a bit. So that's it for this beta. There's not a whole lot else new to talk about, but let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't gotten the public beta yet, expect it later today or probably tomorrow. And I'll be covering the battery life of this one in a follow-up after we know how it's been after a few days. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, I'll link it in the description below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.